Okay, welcome back to Deus Ex. Second session. Now, last time, we basically managed to... Well, we managed to um, arrest a terrorist leader on top of the Statue of Liberty. And we have now arrived at the UNATCO HQ. Now, as a recap, this run is basically a small challenge run where I challenge myself to play the game through, finish the game with only these initial skill levels that I have set up for my character. So at the beginning of the game, I set the skills for my character and I've decided that beyond that, I will not be improving any of these skills. Despite all the skill points that I will obviously get throughout the game, which I could use for improving the skills, but I will not do that. So finish the game with this, basically your starting level skills. Okay, this year's our NATCO HQ, our place of work, so let us go and meet with the locals. In fact, actually, what I could do at the moment is just uh, rearrange my toolbar. Maybe I, maybe I should say to arrange my toolbar because I never got around to doing that. Uh, actually, oh yeah, put the baton there. I mean, this is now a bit more of a, not exactly a non-lethal playthrough, but chances are I'll probably mostly end up using non-lethal styles, sneaking past enemies, etc. Taking them down with a baton, charge up rod, maybe tranquilizer darts, etc. But anyway, let's get going. Come on in. The retinal scanner can read blood vessel patterns right through your sunglasses. Wow, that's some crazy technology. Thank you. Remember that Mr. Manderley wants to see you. Level 2. His secretary, Janice Reed, has your login and password. Alex Jacobson is our communications engineer and kind of our main contact when we are out in the field. That's locked. We don't have a key. Hell of a first day. You don't say. And it's also locked. Yeah, let's go meet with the boss first, and the secretary. You're going to make a mess. Am I now? Hmm, that's Mr. Mendeley's login and password. That's a rather sensitive information to be just left lying around. Good work out there, Mr. Denton. Mr. Mendeley said you handled yourself nicely. Welcome to UNATCO HQ. Our little family keeps getting bigger. Is Mr. Manderley available? Yes, go right in. By the way, your computer account is ready. Log in JCD, password Bionic Man. I'm a biomechanical, I'm a biomechanical, I'm a biomechanical man. Whoa. Mechanical. Reporting for duty, sir. Mechanical. The man himself. Splendid. Do you accept my apologies about the situation, Topside? A refreshing change from the Academy, sir. Don't despise training, my boy. Even you would be worthless without the shaping touch of drills and studies. So the NSF took a shipment of the Ambrosia vaccine? Give me a chopper and a pilot and I'll handle it. <laughs> I'm sure you could. Yes, indeed. 
but for having your brother head up the recovery team. You'll work with Agent Anna Navarra. Why don't we meet when you've seen Jaime for a medical checkup and received your equipment from Sam Carter? You'll be briefed at that time. Yes, sir. Our first day at work, and we'll already be hacking into our boss's computer. Right in front of The him. med center and armory are on level three. Thank you. You'll behave like a professional. That's an order. Chain Mandrilli Knight Underscore Killer From G. Herman Gunther Herman mm -hmm. Might I suggest aching a skull gun from my head Yesterday at Battery Park Some scum we all know pushes Matthew NSF gets champion draws. I take two 22s, I in my in flesh, I in orgs, before I get out that damn assault goon. If I could kill just by thought, it would be better. Is it my job to be human target practice backstop? Gunther Herman. So he wants the skull gun. WS. Our little experiment should be arriving soon. Clear it for domination and 5F ops as soon as possible, but proceed with caution. We have serious concerns about the primary unit and would like to avoid any potential contamination. Ominous. I've got work to do. I know, I'm trying to read about your work. Candy bar. Come back when you've seen Carter and Reyes. Yes, and I will take your soda. You'll behave like a professional. That's an order. Okay, but I'll still keep your soda. JC, mind if I call you JC? Sure, go ahead. Uh, two picks for some... Darts. Mm, maybe no. Maybe no need. One pick. If I had more of picking skill, I probably would take that. Then it would only be one lock pick. But eh, maybe I'll just save my picks. Are you sure you pressed the right button? I do not make mistakes of that kind. Your hand might have slipped. No, I wanted orange. It gave me lemon lime. The machine would not make a mistake. It's the maintenance man. He knows I like orange. So you think the staff has some kind of plot? Yes, they do that on purpose. Oh yes, the infamous case of orange soda. My new partner, J.C. Denton. Don't tell me you're going to wear those sunglasses during a night operation. My vision is augmented. Better to look good than to have the distractions of another agent who needs backup. Forgive my interruption. I just wanted to say that I look forward to working with you, Agent Navarra. Could you tell me how to find Jaime's office? I do not expect you to perform as well as Agent Herman, but the mission will require us to do more than frighten the NSF with our baggy coats that make us look bigger than we really are. I am prepared to perform my duties. For instance, not to wipe out the enemy and then leave agents still captured in a locked cell. No problem. Yeah, in the first mission, there's a side mission for rescuing Gunther from captivity. Now, I actually had two recording sessions. First one, I kind of... Well, let's say I ended up having issues with the... Um, with the... Uh, frames. And so I had to dump that, but in my first basically recording I did go and rescue Gunther. But in the second one I just did more or less a uh, sort of a speedrun style run. Where I more or less just ran straight to the target, the objective, and finished the mission. So that's why he's kind of bummed right now that <laughs> I left him behind. Okay. We have 
have some hacking skills so we can hack into this ATM and steal some cash. 150. Login? Yes, I see here that she did. Let's redecorate. Yeah, much better. Okay. JCD Bionic Man. That was the password we got from Janice, the secretary. From J. Reyes, J. C. Denton, J. Reyes, as in Heim Reyes, is the UNATCO medical professional. Hey, J. C., I guess I'll have to get used to calling you J. C. around the office. Not sure where they came up with that, but at least they gave you the same last code name as your brother. Anyways, whatever they're calling you, it's good to see a familiar name on the roster. My first job here has been to read up. On your augmentations. I'm beginning to see why you found classes so easy. Every neuron in your head has been augmented. For example, the voice in your head from an operator someone here at HQ able to handle the scanning equipment in your skull and broadcast advice over your info link leaps fully formed right into your temporal lobe by passing the eardrum and its sensory neurons and it's perfectly inaudible to everyone around you. Of course, not to mention that the nanites cling to your axons can both receive and transmit symbolic information, so if you ever need help, don't sweat it. Someone at HQ probably already knows. Come by if you want to hear more. This is great stuff. Hi, me. To um, hide me, nano augmentations and new. So this is more of a general posting for the augmented agents. I was asked by the regional medical coordinator to forward this information to all of you. I do so without further comment, Dr. Reyes. By now, you've heard about the upcoming transition to nano augmentations. It's coming, but not as soon as you think. UNATCO has only one nano-augmented agent with a second just now graduating from the academy. It will be years before the program leaves the laboratory. Your mechanical augmentations are not obsolete. Some agents express concerns they will be walking junk in 10 years. One agent expressed their fears in an anonymous email saying, we will be sold at the flea markets, old grey golems who are scaring the children. So what about my legs? What about my life? Quote, unquote. Keep some perspective. Prosthetics remain the only proven technology for enhancing human abilities. Those who make the sacrifice appreciate it, commend it, and salute it as heroes. Of course, in the third Deus Ex game, you actually get to play as a mechanical, mechanically augmented agent. Med Directorate to J.C. Denton, subject Nano Augmentation Stressors. Nano Augmented Agents will often encounter stress created by resentment among fellow agents, particularly those who have been mechanically augmented. In an effort to secure freedom and liberty for those under their protection, many UNATCO agents have chosen to sacrifice social acceptance for mission performance by surgically replacing limbs and organs with mechanically or electronically enhanced equivalents. But your nano augmentations point the way to the future. Thousands of microscopic living organic machines that exist in symbiosis with your body. Because such augmentations create only minimal disfigurement, 
They are likely to be a source of friction between you and other mechanically augmented agents. But it's important to understand that UNATCO is an organization where individuals must act in concert. Each is important to the whole, and mutual understanding is essential to teams comprised of diverse human and augmented agents. If you have any further questions or wish to discuss these issues, please feel free to send email to carverishel slash slash unatgo dot four three five two dot seven six eight to make an appointment. And welcome to Unatgo Agent. Okay. A little bit of welcome to your new place of work emails. Okay, let's go further down to level three. Well, that was a close one up there. Sure was. Men's room. Ladies room. But we're a gentleman. I don't like getting shot at. Not one bit. Yeah. I bet. Well, let's take some darts. I have to prepare for the mission. And... Buy yourself. Stop clowning around, agent. Get yeah. your checkup on level 3, and let's get going. Okay, sure. Yeah, this is this terminal is actually used both by Agent Anna Navar and then Ancient Gunther Herman. At ease, Agent Denton. General Carter, I read about the Merced operation in school. This is a great honor. I'm not a general anymore. Just call me Carter. I can't believe what the NSF did to your family. Enough of that, soldier. We each have our troubles. I lost my children, but you've had to grow up without your parents, which requires more courage. I don't think it matters. My parents died in a car accident. That's different. I said that's enough. You have your own op and time is short. How about I issue you a stealth pistol? That sounds fine. Thank you, sir. What else do you think you'll need? Mm, let's take a smart lockpick. A smart lockpick is always handy. That's right. Infiltrate and evade. Engage only on your own terms. Now move out. Manderley's waiting. Hey, what about that guy out front selling munitions? Is that allowed? Oh, Kaplan, right. We've got some screwballs around here, but he's not the problem. It's whoever's been breaking into the armory. Someone at Unaco's a thief? Yes, sir. And a damn good one. Yeah, he's the quartermaster. He's gonna be the one who issues equipment to us. Getting warm. You're red hot. Looks like you found me. Change German password to Zeitgeist. Yep, that's Gunther's password. And in fact, there is a secret hatch on the floor. Scope modification, nano key for offices upstairs, and sniper ammo. And in fact, there's two little hatches in here. Let's meet with Alex. <laughs> like leading a mouse to cheese. This thing is starting to give me a headache. Don't worry, we shut it down when you go off duty. I guess I'll get used to it. I'm Alex Jacobson, communications engineer. I suppose you already know who I am. Getting there. You're certainly quicker on the uptake than your brother Paul ever was. Thanks. Well, we finally get to meet Alex in the flesh. If you know the code, we could open this one. Or use multi-tools. Speculative fiction resource trade show. The date, the page, mm, something center. 
Guest speaker Calvo. I guess Alex over here is a fan of Calvo. And would you believe a Jacobson? Let's see. A Jacobson has the password Calvo. Hmm. From a C Rex to a Jacobson subject whoop ass. Hey man, get your Okapo Jack fixed yet? You got to check out Strike 4 demo. Whole motor control, total visual occlusion. Man, fireballs burn your face, walls hurt when you hit them. Tactile textures everywhere, volumetric humidity. What are you waiting for? Don't give me that national security crap. Jack in so I can whoop your ass. Cracks. Okay. Network security. Well, actually lists all the logins and passwords for all your all the people working at Unatco. So, Edelar, German, Menderly, Reed, Janice Reed, J. Reyes, S. Carter, and me. And locker code 2000. So. More flares. And one more person to meet with. Oh, I'm actually full. Yeah, I'll stick some modifications to my trunk dart. And drop the cigarettes. Got four throwing knives. We don't have the key to this yet. Oh. Years of training, and you're still all thumbs. <laughs> Green thumb. But we do have now the key to that. Hey, JC. You look like the real thing. They actually let you operate on people? Just fix Gunther's knee, in fact. A sticky actuator. So far, I feel more like a mechanic than a doctor. I'm impressed. They actually let you point a gun at people. We'll have to catch up later. I've got to leave for New York right away. Could you send Manderly whatever it is he wants? No problem. Listen, JC. About your augmentations. You know they're preparing to roll out the technology worldwide, right? As long as I don't turn green and grow a pair of antennas, as I understand it. Yeah, well, the design's pretty modular, which means you'll soon have access to upgrades from standard augmentation canisters. I think I picked one of those up at the top of the statue. Maybe you did. My order from Versalife was on the ship the NSF captured. You'll need to take it to one of the medbots for installation. I'll do that. The canisters contain a colloid of ROM modules. Some are generic upgrades, others require you to make permanent choices about how to configure one of your subsystems. It's about time they implemented some of this stuff. Report to Manderley. He told me to send you back to him on the double. That's the reason why I didn't just right away install this one. I wanted to have this dialogue with Jamie describing these augmentation canisters. One more thing before I go, since you've been briefed on my augmentations. What can you tell me about the info link? Let's see. Micro receiver exostructure in the sulci, mechanocarbon threads on the axons. For queuing, you know, packet routing. Anything particularly interest you? Is there a way to turn it off? The info link? Yeah, or is someone at UNATCO tuned in 24 hours? These might sound a little funny, JC, but I'm not permitted to answer that question. Your clearance is higher than mine? Regarding your systems, I am your physician. No big deal. I was just curious. I wouldn't keep Manderley waiting if I were you. His office is on level two. Grab a medkit. And we'll finally install this augmentation. And since I'm going for a melee build, 
I'll take the combat strength. Augmentation. Which increases melee damage. This little description about the netbot. Oh, by the way, I should probably also utilize the netbot for its primary purpose, which is to heal. It took some damage last episode, so. Some fall damage. Hmm. Well, we'll meet with Mandel in just a moment, but the key that we picked up from that little, like, secret compartment in Alex's office opens these office doors. So. We finally got to cap some Didn't rebels. The NSF had so many people in New York. So, at least it will save us the lock. No, the lock picks it would normally require to pick those locks. And why not I put the extra accuracy modification to any else? So the reload can go to here. And the clip mod maybe to the standard pistol. Yeah. We'll finish the job when we get to Manhattan. Bet the NSF won't try that trick again. Yes. They're waiting for you, Agent. Go on in. That will be JC's job. What's that? Power station. The NSF have Ambrosia in a warehouse protected by cameras and booby traps. We want to power down the whole system. We're taking one illicit generating plant, protected by weak groups of NSF. Knock out that plant and Paul's team can walk right into the warehouse. Just tell me where it is. The NSF are openly resisting our deployed forces, gradually falling back. You have to deal with them first. And you be ready, Paul. When the power drops, go in and go in hard. I'll use my discretion. Go in like the U.S. Marshals. We lose the vaccine, I'm sending your butt to the mayor to explain why he and his three daughters won't get their pills this month. Yes, sir. Let's not waste any time, JC. Get down to the dock. A boat is waiting to take you and your partner, Anna Navarro, to shore. Yes, get moving. Here's your op bonus for the great job you did in the statue. One thousand credits. We take care of our people around here. The bonus for rescuing Agent Herman goes to one of the troopers, though. I'm sure you understand. Thank you, sir. Of course, most of the time I actually do rescue. Good. Uh, it's not that difficult. But last session. It was quiet till sundown. Then all hell broke. Good loose. work up there. Okay. Yes. Thank you. But last session, after the first sort of failed attempt, I was a bit frustrated. So I just wanted to get the first mission over with. So I skipped the the side mission. Wish I was going with you. Mm. No, you don't. You have a very comfortable seat over there. You have this beautiful glass window. I guess someone's got to watch HQ. You can order pizza, drink orange flavor soda that you stole from Gunter, and maybe he didn't steal. But who knows? Maybe he did. Good luck out there. Man, two Dentons in the field. The NSF won't know what hit them. They certainly won't. Thanks for your snack. Ah, uh, did I go here? Maybe not yet here, yeah, I don't know. Way to go, sir. Gunther should have followed orders. He definitely should, yes, I agree. Okay. I think there's still some stuff in the... In the docks that I need to take. Some crates. 
idea. This way we have no truck charge darts. I think this is gonna be enough for this episode. It was just a kind of a short intermediate episode where we visit the UNATCO HQ, cut out debriefing, got some equipment supplies, and prepare for the next mission. So we'll see you next time. Bye bye.